Well, happy Tuesday morning to you, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. This is, uh, this is my morning musings. Enjoying a cup of coffee, getting the day started. Been here for a while, and it's, um, I don't know, it's 4.30, something like that. <laughs> but uh, great to be back with you. Hope you uh, have an absolutely fantastic day. We are looking at the eschatology of the parables of Jesus. And in Matthew chapter 21, he tells us the, the story of the wicked vine dressers. They killed, mistreated and killed the servants sent to them. They finally killed the son. And Jesus asked the Pharisees, uh, what, will the, what will the master of the vineyard do when he comes? And they said, he will utterly destroy them and give the vineyard to others. Now, what I want to focus on right now, as I pointed out in the last presentation, Jesus quotes from Psalms 118, 22 and following, and he quotes from, and he conflates, he joins together Isaiah 8, 14, as well as Daniel 2. Here is what is really, really important about this. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it was precious in our eyes. Now, what is this chief cornerstone? Well, it's the chief cornerstone of the Messianic temple. This is incredible. You see, we are told today that we are waiting on the building of the Messianic temple, which is supposed to be a literal, physical temple. Our dispensational friends tell us that all the time. Secondly, we are told by the dispensational world, John Walford says it, Tim LaHaye, Thomas Ice says it, Dwight Pentecost said it, Charles Ryrie said it. So many of the leading authorities in modern dispensationalism are on record as saying, catch the power of this, the church was not foretold anywhere in the Old Testament. The church age was not foretold anywhere in the Old Testament. Well, how do we deal with the fact that Jesus is citing a text that prophesied the Messianic temple and said he, he was the living foundation stone, chief cornerstone, of that messianic temple. Now look folks, if the rejected chief cornerstone has to do with the messianic temple, and it does, and if Jesus said he, his living person, is the rejected chief cornerstone of the messianic temple, then that tells us, number one, the church was foretold in the Old Testament because Christ is the chief cornerstone of the body of Christ, which is the church of the living God, the temple of God, Ephesians chapter 2, 19 and following. You, therefore, are no longer strangers and foreigners, but are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, being built upon the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone the temple of God. So that tells us Jesus' citation and the application of Psalms 118.22 to himself tells us, yes, indeed, the Old Testament foretold the church of the living God, Jesus' body as the temple of God. Secondly, it tells us that the Messianic temple 
is by no means a literal physical building. Because if Jesus, the living person of Jesus, is the chief cornerstone, then I think it's real safe for us to say he wasn't talking about a literal physical building. Jesus' parable of Matthew 21 gives us direct insight into the proper hermeneutic of how to understand the Old Testament. We must interpret it as Jesus interpreted those Old Testament prophecies of the Messianic temple of the chief cornerstone. And that meant, and that means... The Messianic temple, number one, was not to be a literal physical building. Number two, it is the body of Christ. Number three, the Messianic temple has been constructed. Wow. Fascinating stuff, eh? Important stuff. Don't forget, folks, got this material on uh, these lessons that we present in my 32 lesson series on the parables of Jesus, as well as the 2006 Preterist Pilgrim Weekend. And do not forget, if you go to my website, eschatology.org or BibleProphecy.com, and you order one or both, okay, one or both, you mention that you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook, I will include, at no extra charge, this very special lesson on romancing the stone that discusses the parable of the vineyard and the chief cornerstone of the Messianic temple. Hey, thanks so much for joining me on this morning's Morning Musings. And yes, we've got more on the parables. We'll see you on the flip side.